Hello, how y'all doing? Welcome to Book Reviews by Bird, Mania and Devil Productions. I'm your host, David E. McClendon Sr., and we'll roll into our video in just a second, but first a word of prayer. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for all the many blessings you bestowed upon us. Thank you for our YouTube watchers, all of our blog followers, all of our blog readers, all the publishers, publicists, authors, illustrators, merchandisers, manufacturer representatives, and others that we come in contact with via these blogs and these YouTube channels. If there's anyone out there seeking to find you, please help them to find you. It's in Jesus Christ, Yeshua's most holy and most precious name that we pray by the power of his blood. Amen. Introducing his royal dogness, Guy the Beagle, the remarkable true story of Meghan Markle's rescue dog. It's written by Guy the Beagle and uh, also has a Michael Brom and... I'm not sure whether it's Gamil or Camille because of the, the writing. March, illustrated by E.G. Keller. Now, this, what comes to mind when I read this book is just the word cute. It's absolutely cute. It's a story, um, supposedly the true life story, of the Royal Beagle, um, who was the rescue dog, was rescued and taken to a shelter, started out in Kentucky, went up to Canada, and was adopted by the Duchess there. And uh, then went to live over there in uh, England and to be part of the royal family, which is really wonderful. And it talks about how he got involved with the royal dogs, uh, Queen Elizabeth's dogs and the other royal dogs and that sort of thing. And how he had to learn how to speak British. Now, as all of you know, there's a big difference between British English and American English. And there's a huge difference between British English, the Queen's English, and uh, Redneck, which is what I speak here, is Redneck. Anyway, this book is wonderfully written. It's just absolutely cute. It's adorable. It's the kind of book that will make you say, oh, how sweet. And uh, it talks about the different uh, adventures that the dog has as he goes from being a dog and roaming around out in the hills of Kentucky to being in the royal palaces. And this, I think, would make a wonderful book uh, it makes a wonderful book and make a wonderful gift for all those kids on your uh, your Christmas giving list. It'll make a great addition to the books that you read to your children at family home evening. Now, obviously, you're having family home evening at your house where you sit around and have the kids sit as you read them books or tell them stories, read Bible verses and that sort of thing, play games with them and just all those wonderful things. If you're not having a family home evening, you should, and maybe this will be the first book on your family home evening list. If you're a grandparent, you absolutely have got to get this for your grandkids. You know, have your grandkids sit beside you or up on your lap or whatever, and uh, read them this wonderful story about the dog that belongs to the Duchess. I started to say Duchess's dog, but that's just too many S's for somebody that's had strokes. Anyway, um, we think you'll love it. We think you'll give it all five stars, and uh, hey, have a Merry Christmas. Wow, Giddy, a royal dog? Yeah, a royal dog. Oh, so uh, is this dog like a prince or a prince? I guess it'd be a prince or a duke or whatever. Uh, that could be cool. Yeah, it could be. Uh, except for I don't know how a dog would curtsy. I don't know how he would curtsy either. Uh, he could bow as in bow wow wow. Yes, he could. All right, people, get this for your kids, your grandkids, all those kind of people on your list. Your grand, your uh, grand nephew, or great nephew, or great niece, or whatever, and have fun with it. Thank you. Bye. Ready to order? Click the link below.